Welcome back to Everything Whiskey. I'm Callum. I'm Sam. Today we're having a look at the Winnie 15. Alrighty, so uh, Del Winnie, that's, I mean, we forgot about this one, honestly. We had it for a while, mm. um, but it's pretty decent um, in regards to just like single malt scotches that are pot distilled. So um, the pot still is, is going to, yeah, it? it's, a, it's using a pot still um, is the kind of unique thing about mm. it. Um, the pot still is just, a, it's shaped more like a pot it's rounded at the top instead of a long column still. Um, it's just less filtration out of oils and stuff. It's more, it just does a little bit less of the kind of like, what, it does less of what a uh, column still does. The yeah. distillation is a lot less efficient. Uh, it doesn't take out as, strip out as much stuff um, and it takes longer and it's also at a lower proof. It kind of like varies mm. um, from what I know. Um, whereas a column still is really quick, really high alcohol straight out of the barrel um, and straight out of the still, spout yeah. um, and it strips a ton out so that's what's going to be used more for like uh, things like vodkas and stuff where like it just wants to be clean like tasting like nothing you get a lot more kind of like oily earthy uh, kind of meaty uh, flavors from this um, another popular one which a lot of people have had um, is the Irish the uh, red breast 12 yeah. or just red breast in general uh, pot still um, but Scotland didn't really take up uh, a ton of um, like when the column still was introduced um, they kind of jumped ship and started using that predominantly yeah you uh, there's, really not, there's not a ton of, of scotches these, that are pot still this is also quite old we got this yeah. two or three years ago. Again, we'll get into that scotch phase, yeah. enjoying these flavors. And as we've changed and our flavor profiles of like what we prefer has changed. Yeah. This has just remained untouched on our shelves. Yeah. I just found it literally 20 minutes ago because we needed to do a review. Yeah. And we have no money at the moment. <laughs> so <laughs> luckily this is what we just, We were just hoping that we had yeah. something we could <laughs> review because we couldn't be bothered going out and buying more. Um, but yeah, so. Look, this is one like we were, we enjoyed it when we first got it. As you said, ages ago when we were really into um, scotches and stuff. Hit every At the moment, like. it's not super interesting to me. I don't know, it's just, again, mention it every time we do mm. a scotch, it's not what we're enjoying at the moment that much. Um, but because of the pot still, uh, it has more interesting notes than like a more generic kind of like uh, single malt. Yeah. Scotch from Space on Highland, wherever. Uh, it's got those more kind of oily notes. And I do appreciate that. Um, it feels denser. Like I know it's only what, 43% or 43, something? 43, yeah. Yeah, um, but if, if it does feel more yeah. dense, it, doesn't, it doesn't taste hot. It doesn't taste any hotter than 43. But it tastes more dense. And I think that's because the pot still, it's like thicker. And it's got this a, a lot of earthy notes to it for me. Very flowery and honey. Yeah, a lot of flower, yeah, like honeysuckle and um, I get like a bitterness of like some sort of like, or not maybe like peel, like a lemon peel or something. Yeah, like a rind, yeah. Yeah, it's got like the pith, like it's kind mm. of like bitter, but also kind of yeah, like I can say that, yeah. fruity and citrusy. It's actually really citrusy. Mm. I don't remember it being that citrusy. No, me neither. I was getting a bit of chocolate in it as well. It doubles down on that honey. Yeah, it's, it's got very sweet, sweet maltiness. Yeah. Um, very lively though. The flowers are there though. Mm. Like, it's not flat, which is good. No, no, it's definitely not flat. It's just, again, not the flavor profile we're mm. normally is most enthusiastic about. Um, yeah, but, the word you used before, interesting, was yeah, correct. It's, like, it's not bad. We don't dislike, we're just not super it's, pumped up yeah. by it. We just don't get that excited. But yeah, just a sweet yeah, malt, yeah. sweet honey malt. A lot of earthiness, wet hay. Yeah. I'm still getting that kind of like, like a fair amount of fruitiness. Um, and like the honeysuckle, like that really light musk sweetness of mm. like flowers. I'm also getting like a sour, but that could be the citrusy, be a weird yeah, for me, citrus. It's like, yeah. For me, it like kind of, it's, I don't know, it's like a mix of sourness like from fruit. Like I'm getting yeah. that kind of like lemon lemon peel and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But it's also kind of this weird a candy sourness. Almost. Well, for me, it's like going into that funky, like, you know when like something's off like um like the wet hay mm. it's like really kind of like and it goes mildew tart, yeah. like that kind of yeah i can't tell if it's like yeah. a fruity sourness or this kind of like stank sourness i don't know how to yeah. describe it touch of 
smoke as well. Ever so slightly. I think that 43, even though it's only 3% above 40, I think that does help it Definitely with its oiliness it. and the depth of flavor it has. The pot still and the 43%. Do they do a car strength? Because this car strength could be that interesting be really factor nice. that we- They do car strength out of a pot still. Yeah. Could be really nice. Because this is nice. It's just, as you said, it's just I feel like the lacking nose, interest the nose is more cohesive for me. Or it's more unique. There's yeah, more yeah. like I lemon peel and kind of like Because you don't nice. get the maltiness on there. Yeah, the, the, the palate's like more of that typical sweet honey mm. cereal kind of note. But the nose is a little bit more unique. I do get more of that earthiness on the palate though, which I appreciate. More like a walnut. Yeah, nuts and like, Hate. just like this kind yeah. of like thick earthiness. I don't know. Bit of pepper. Yeah, it's got that pepperiness, yeah. I mean, it's like that earthy kind of like yeah. spiciness. I don't know, like a... Yeah, actually, like, I'm, I don't know if I'm just kind of not making stuff up, but I don't know if I'm convincing myself, but there's like maybe some bay leaf, like this kind of like earthy herb, like mild, like nothing like full on, but. I, I mean, know. I don't see that, but I believe you. There is, yeah. <laughs> believe me. <laughs> 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 this yeah, I don't know. Um, if you like this category, like already. It is space art, isn't it? Thailand, Thailand, space art. Difference. Thailand, Thailand. Yeah. Um, basically the same thing though. Um, if you like this category though, uh, you're probably gonna enjoy this um, with a bit more of those earthy notes. So if you like this, but you also really like some Islas, mm. this is probably a good Highland for you. Like, especially if you're enjoying things like the Highland Park with that peppery smokiness. Yeah. This is less smoke and pepper, but it's got the more earthy kind of like uh, notes to it. And you can find a lot of fruit. The, yeah. Um, problem for me is the cost. Like, yeah, 130 ish. Yeah, bucks. 130 ish bucks here in Australia. It's pretty I'm ridiculous. Not buying that again. Like, if again, it's the gonna. Depend how much you like this category as well. You have got to keep in mind, it's a 15 year old. 130 is pretty reasonable for a 15 year old Scotch. Yeah, but like I Glenn, feel like Glenfiddich 15 is around the same I price. Like, how much is the Johnny 18? 110, 20, I think. I think that's better than this. So do I. <laughs> and I don't, we're not like, we're not Johnny fanboys. <laughs> we don't really like it that much at all. There's bar a couple of them. Just saying it's 18. Um, I can appreciate kind of, this though. This has got like the pot steel in yeah. all that kind of stuff. What else is there though? Aberfeldy. I reckon that's quite nice. Krigaliki is quite Krigaliki. nice. It's two more years on Krigaliki and Krigaliki is cheaper. And, and it's I pretty similar. I reckon it's yeah. similar if not a bit better. Um, so yeah, price is a problem for us in recommending it to anyone. Mm. Um, but if you're kind it's of like, like cleaned, 60 bucks if you, oh yeah, probably, <laughs> yeah, probably even less yeah. in um, Europe as well. If you've cleaned out the category and you're wanting to try something, mm. um, then go for it. But yeah, for us, it's, the price is just doesn't make it worth it. You can buy the, um, the new, well not new, but new in our area, um, the Lefroy Pedro Menes cast for 135 or something. We still need to get that. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, and that's gonna, I would choose that any day. Mm. So, we think. It might be hot. Well, no, it might I'm, be a trip. Try it, no. I <laughs> no. refuse to, I refuse to accept that that would be worse. If you like this episode of Everything Whiskey, leave a like and see future episodes from us, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.